Welcome guys, after nearly a year, BGMI is finally back. Now it comes with this new Noosa map update, so this video is all about the Noosa map. This is the smallest map in the battlegrounds. For example, Arangal is 8 km into 8 km, while the Noosa is just 1 km into 1 km, that's 64 times smaller in size as compared to Arangal. Just to show you how small it is, I'll be running from one side of the map to the other side, it only took me around 3 minutes to reach to the other end, it's really small you don't even need vehicles on the map, if you want to use the fast landing method on this map, you need to jump at around 375 meters from your marker and use fast landing method like this. Also there is a new exclusive vehicle, the Quad, a four-wheel motorbike, specifically designed for Noosa Map's uneven landscape, it can climb up hills with an ease, plus it's very quick. There are two new exclusive weapons on this map, NS2000 a shotgun and a tactical crossbow, NS2000 is a very interesting shotgun, because it can work just like any shotgun as it shoots nine shotgun pellets, but if you open the scope and fire, it shoots only one bullet, like a sniper, you can one-shot kill a level 3 helmet while scoped in. However this only in close range, because as soon as you cross that 10 meters mark, you lose that one-shot kill headshot ability. Here's the damage for this new shotgun, hip firing and scope firing shots deal different amounts of damage as shown. And now about the crossbow it's the same as the old crossbow, but now it can equip flame bolts, as well as the normal bolts. With flame bolts it does up to 20% more damage with the flames, but if you fire these flame bolts on wooden huts, it can set them on fire as well as destroy them completely, you can burn down the entire flame village except one main house. I'm sure you are wondering what happens to the players inside the burning houses, well they will slowly start dying due to flame damage. By the way, if you get killed too early, and you happen to have this helicopter symbol with one number on your name tag, you will respawn back, as long as your team is alive in the battlegrounds, and this quick respawn period will only last 3 minutes after landing. Now let's talk about the map, so there are 11 locations, and I will show you the best places, starting with the Telepak town, the biggest city on the map, it has a lot of buildings, including a 7-story apartment building that contains a working elevator, which is just crazy, because we have never seen an elevator in the PUBG Mobile. And on the 7th floor, you will find mecha soldiers, they are basically bots with really good loot, I got level 3 armor from them, almost every time. And our next best location is shipyard, here you will find ships, containers, and some warehouses. Shipyard is compact in every possible way, so it's gonna be chaos over here. And if you like containers, shipyard is the place for you. I'm very sure either shipyard or telepack town will be hot drops on Noosa map. And now the cavern, you may notice that there are no houses or buildings until you look down on this giant hole. You will find an underground secret cave with a submarine, containers, and warehouses. This place has really good loot because not many players will show up here since there are only three ways to get inside, first is obviously from the top hole and second is from the water and the last one is a secret tunnel that you have to use in order to exit from this underground cave. Next to the cavern you will find Bulin Bay, this is a beach with couple of houses, maybe enough loot for a single squad since there are only few houses, but this place is surrounded by two big hills on each side, so it's kinda risky to stay here. Moving on to the science center, this building kinda reminds of school building from a wrangle, but this place doesn't have a lot of covers, you'll get shots from every direction. Now the Sunset Street and Regal Resort these are small towns with enough loot for maybe two squads, it has swimming pools which can give you boost. Now the Crystal Bay, it's a small island, but there is a hidden secret cave, you need a secret key to open this door, which you can find it easily from looting on this place, I got from this crate almost every time, once you open the gate, you will find three crates which gives really good loot. But not enough for a full squad. And now the Flame Village, which is in the middle of the map, but be careful your house can burn down. And now to the pink beach, this place has the lowest loot, but next to the pink beach you will find Love Island, which also doesn't have a lot of loot, it's just a place to hang out, and there is a ferris wheel. This map is packed with zip lines everywhere, you can use them to travel, or if you spot someone using zip lines, you can break the zip lines, your enemy will fall down. So beware of that. If zip lines are broke, you can repair them. Anyway that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new. If you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this. See you guys in the next one.